What's up guys, I'm Chesapeake. This is Chesapeake Hammocking Outdoors. And this video is on my kind of bushcraft haversack setup that I use. I don't really do much of it in the, in the heat, in the, the late spring and summer here in Maryland because of the oppressive heat and humidity. But in the fall and winter, I definitely like to do a lot of uh, bushcrafting when I can uh, get a chance. And here are, here's the, uh, the bushcraft kit that I use. First off, here is a Roycroft pack frame that I made. It's really simple. It's just three sticks lashed together with bank line with some smaller bank line prussic around it. So I can put a, you know, I can put something on here and then lash it around. And then I've got a pack frame, which this haversack will also fit on the Roycroft pack frame with this strap in the back so I can use the haversack like a haversack or I can put it on the Roycroft pack frame to uh, use it as a backpack so that's pretty neat this is a wax canvas haversack from Campcraft Outdoors you can check them out online they've got some really nice wax canvas haversacks, uh, possibles pouches, dump pouches, all kinds of neat handcrafted stuff. This is their uh, extra large haversack. Nothing special, it's just a big, big pouch with a flap and an adjustable thick webbing strap on it. And then like I said on the back, it's got this handle here so you can use it as a, a backpack really. On the outside, I've just got my kooksa with a toggle I made and some paracord. Just press it to the, uh, the ring here. And then I've also got a leather strap with some paste beads and a backup compass. So this will hang down right next to me and uh, it's easy to uh, count my paces since it's hanging right down by my hip. So we'll go inside the, uh, the pack now. Right on the inside here, I've got my Mora Bushcraft Black with a backup ferro rod. Right on top, I have a waxed canvas mat that I got off of Etsy. It's really nice brown wax canvas from Brown's Bushcraft. You can check them out on Etsy. They're a UK company, handmade. Got a nice piece of orange cordage here. This is a really nice, uh, you can use it as a seat um, you can set up your uh, camp stuff on it. I can use it under my hammock to uh, have something to step out on that's waterproof. If I want to take a break, I can sit down. I can put it behind my back to uh, have a little bit of extra padding on the back of the Roycroft frame. There's a lot of things you can do with a wax canvas square like this. So that's from Brown's Bushcraft. It's just a really simple handmade wax canvas square. So we'll put that over here. Next, I've got a Frog Togs Chili Mini for those really hot days. Even though I really don't do this in the summertime, um, still it's nice to have something I can wet and uh, wipe down with. So it takes up hardly any space and it's not doesn't weigh anything at all really. So that's from Frog Togs, the Chili Mini. Next up, I have my Snug Pack Patrol Poncho. Um, this isn't it. This is just a stand-in. I left mine at work. But the Patrol Poncho is in a pouch exactly this size. So this is the size of the Snug Pack Patrol Poncho. So I've got that in there. Not very big at all and it's super lightweight. Moving on, I've got a small first aid kit with uh, just some band-aids um, and really simple stuff like that. It's not a trauma kit, it's more of a boo-boo kit. So I won't open that, but you guys know it's in pretty much everybody's small boo-boo kit. So I've got that bright red so it can be seen. Moving on in, I have two small books here. I've got a tree identification book and my Appalachian Trail field book 
for uh, trail bu building since I'm a trail maintainer for the Mason Dixon Trail. These are the standards we go by in trail maintenance. So it's always good to have my field book on it so I can refer back to it if I'm doing field, uh, field maintenance and I can use it to take notes. And then uh, this book here was printed, I believe in the 50s, 1952 actually. And uh, it was passed on to me from my grandfather. So there's even still some leaves in here. So this is a tree identification book and a familiar American tree. So that's good to have. Moving on in, I've got a saw. This is a cheap Ozark trail saw. Um, I lent my Baco Laplander to a friend, which would norm normally be in there. But these work just as well. You can pick this up at Walmart. It's just as sharp, not as durable, but it's a folding saw nonetheless. So, got a folding saw. I've got a big hank of paracord here with prussics already on it for a ridge line if I want to take a tarp with me, or I can use it with the poncho. I've got a brown leather case here that I uh, use for my cigarettes. So, nice rustic look. It's got a belt loop on the back, or you could put anything else in here. I've got a waterproof bag. I, uh, about two months ago, I ordered a quilt from, oh, what company was it? Hemlock Mountain Outdoors, I'm sorry. And, I also, and with that, I ordered two canvas pouches about this size. So until they come in, I'm using this one, and I'll probably end up using it still when it's, there's a possibility of rain because it's waterproof and in here I have my compass I have my water filter and this is from Minotaur Trading Company so it's a Sawyer filter same output as a Sawyer filter I have a Victorinox knife sharpener I have some flight from some trail marking tape here's the straw to the water filter I have some fire cord, some 550 fire cord. I have a handmade handkerchief from Evergreen Hanks. On one side, it's a woodland scene, and on the other side, it's a really lightweight fleece. So this is good for, you know, washing up, you know, dressing a wound washing you know my my cup anything you know any kind of use you can think of for a a cotton handkerchief and it's also got the fleece on the other side so that's from evergreen hanks you can check them out on etsy they're again a uk company and then i put a small lash it soft shackle on there just to uh in case i want to hang it off my belt or something like that and then a couple more cutting tools I have an Oppenel. This is my, my daughter's Oppenel safety knife that I've been using, she's been using to learn how to uh, do some woodworking. So I keep that in there. And then I have a carving jack from Old Timer. It's got several different types of carving, uh, carving blades. There's some hook knives, some gouges, a Sloyd knife. So I used that, and with that, I carved my first ever spoon out of a spoon blank that I got from Amazon. You can see the profile there. So I carved this spoon, and it took me about two days, the first spoon I've ever carved, and I used the, uh, the old timer carving jack, which can also be found on Amazon. It's hard to open one hand or else I'd show you some of the different blades, but just go on Amazon and uh, type in old timer carving knife and uh, this knife will come up. It was uh, fairly inexpensive and uh, really good quality steel and it came ultra sharp so I was able to carve this spoon. And then let's make a little bit more space here. Next I've got my cook kit. 
in here here's a, a mesh head net so put that over here I've got my GSI coffee maker it's just it's just a filter with legs and it goes right on my uh, my GSI cup I have my Pathfinder alcohol stove with the simmer ring there and then I have if I can get this out of the pouch my GSI cup and I've got the koozie on it right now but I can take that off it doesn't weigh much but it does make it a little bit bulkier and I also have a lid but I didn't include it in the kit I couldn't find it so that's the alcohol stove and cup so right now we've already got all of that and it's 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 a little heavy but it's a lot of stuff that I can use on the Roycroft pack frame and then we've also got my fire kit which is this is a handmade waxed canvas bag and in this handmade wax canvas bag I've got a plastic ziplock bag with quite a few pieces of fat wood I've got a lighter a pack of matches and some fire cord a little hank of fire cord I've got my Bigfoot bushcraft half inch ferro rod I've got my tin of Bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs I've got a, a Fresno lens <clears throat> I've got a tin with jute twine and jute candles so it's a regular jute regular jute twine and then really thick wax a jute twine with uh, it's wax impregnated so it makes like a candle so I can use those for uh, fire starting and then I could use this to make char cloth if I wanted to so I got that to keep those dry I've got a bellows there's an extra ferro rod there's a small razor knife it's extremely sharp and then in here I've also got a cotton pouch that I could use for uh, collecting tinder and then there's a, a beeswax candle in here also so that's my fire kit and in my 500 subscriber giveaway the winner will receive a fire kit just like this it'll be an oil a handmade oil cloth bag it'll include the bish, the bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs it'll include the fat wood it'll include a fresnel lens it'll it, a lighter it's a full and complete fire kit and that'll be in my 500 subscriber giveaway so the lucky winner is going to get a really really nice fire kit with some bigfoot bushcraft fire plugs in it if you go to bigfootbushcraft.com and use the coupon code chesapeake you'll get 15 percent off your order so go check them out for your really big and beefy half inch ferro rods you can see i've been using this thing quite a bit and let me tell you what guys this is the best ferro rod i've ever used hands down i was contacted by these guys about two months ago to uh, test some of their products and uh, after talking I became one of their brand ambassadors so definitely check them out guys they're a new company US company they make everything by hand and uh, that's Big Bigfoot Bushcraft so that is my Haversack kit quite a hodgepodge of stuff but you know all together it's uh, it's an all-inclusive kit you know I've got my Kuxa, I've got my water purification I've got pretty much all my 10 C's I've got a sailcloth needle on the back of that I've got my cotton bandana my cordage my cover my candling device I've got everything in here cutting tools container so that's my 5 C's and or 10 C's Haversack kit so 
let me know when uh what you guys think and i'll answer any questions you guys have so just let me know in the comments below and i'll talk to you guys next time thanks